I was an intern at City Hospital the night they brought the little boy in. I can still see him lying on the stretcher with his little freckled face so pale and thin. After they had finished their examination and took him upstairs to an empty room, we learned the little fella had leukemia and just a few short days would seal his doom. He quickly won the hearts of all the doctors, including me. And when I asked him what's the one thing he'd like to have the most, he said, Doc, I'd like to have a Christmas tree. He said, I guess you know I'm an orphan. Ain't ever had no family or no home. But I've seen them trees through other people's windows and I've always wanted one for my very own. Well, the fact that it was July didn't bother me. I went out and cut the prettiest little pine that could be found. The nurses tended to the decorating, and we all wrapped little gifts to pile around. Then we rolled it on a table to his bedside, and it seemed the light of heaven filled the place. He reached out a trembling hand to touch the branches and a tear began to trickle down his face. He said, I know Christmas celebrates the birth of Jesus and I know how he gave his life for me. So when it comes my time to go to heaven, I want to take my Lord a Christmas tree. I turned away to keep my tears from showing and I saw many of the nurses turning too. Then he asked us if we'd sing some Christmas carols. And you'll never know how hard that was to do. Twas an hour long to be remembered and a happier day you couldn't find anywhere. We finally got him settled for the evening and one by one we left him sleeping there. It was after midnight when I got off duty and as usual I looked in on the child. And even though the room was dimly lighted I could still see on his face that happy smile. I started to the bed to smooth the covers when I saw something I'd never seen before. The needles of the pine had all turned brown and fallen off and the branches were drooping toward the floor. I'd only cut that tree that afternoon and I'd never seen one die in just one day. Then as I turned my eyes back to his bedside, I saw the little boy had slipped away. But there was the deepest feeling of contentment and a peace that only comes from heaven's shore. And it seems I heard an angel chorus singing of a gift the Lord would treasure evermore. And then I knew that I was seeing something that wasn't meant for mortal eyes to see. For in one little lifeless hand the child was holding a branch of the dying Christmas tree. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace.